Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't already gathered from the thumbnail, today I'm going to be testing out a little eyelash hack and you guys, I'm just telling you up front, this is pretty darn life-changing. I am wearing strip lashes right now, but I don't know if you can tell or not, but they are not very visible because look, they're under, they're applied under my lash line, which to me, I don't know. I found this hack on Instagram and I was just mind blown. So I'm pretty, pretty impressed by it. It also feels really good. So I'm going to walk you guys through what I did and what I used and uh, that's about it. So let's get started. All right guys, so mid makeup right now and I came across this hack on Instagram and it was all about applying eyelashes um, in a more natural way or a way that looks more seamless. So like, you know how a lot of times we put them on top of our lash line right here and then you can see the band. So I was watching and someone was showing how, I think it was Bobby Thomas from the Today Show. She was showing how she actually puts it under her lash line and I was like, wait, what? I, I don't know why I've never thought about that. But basically the idea, the concept is not where the waterline is, so not where you see like the actual skin or the white of the skin of the eyelid, it is right under the lashes. So I wanted to try this out. I'm gonna use a more um, natural pair of lashes that I have. So I'm gonna be going in with this Charisma lashes that I have. And the style is called Dreamer. And they are cut to my eye lane. They're kind of a little bit more natural looking. They're more wispy-ish. They're not as heavy, which I just, with testing something like this out, I just wanted that to be the case. I have worn these before and um, they're, you know, lashes are definitely reusable. I would just say you wanna go in and clean them nicely, um, take off any of the excess glue that's on the actual band itself. And honestly, if you do that, they should be reusable for a good like 10 times even. The biggest trick with this is you wanna make sure that when you are applying these, for instance, and I just went over keeping these clean and I have not cleaned these since the last time I used them, but I'm just gonna do this for the sake of showing you guys. There, shall we? So basically, like I said, you're gonna go under right there, not where the waterline is, but do you see how flat it is right now? I want it to be curved. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm actually gonna put it around my finger and I'm just gonna like round that out a little bit. Round it out just for like a minute just so that way it kind of curves a little bit. There we go. So I want it to look more like that. First you want to size it to your eyelid, obviously, to the line. And I did cut this for the top part. And I'm just sizing it right now. But the idea is that it would sit under there. And I think this is pretty good. If you are going to try this hack, because we're putting it under and not over, normally if you're putting it on top of your lid, you're going to put the glue underneath the lash, but because we're actually placing it under, you're gonna wanna put it on top, if that makes sense, like right at the, at the top front. So I'm just taking a little bit of this lash glue and I'm applying it directly on top. So basically, you should end up with something like this. And I'm gonna let that dry significantly. I want that to get pretty tacky. So I'm gonna say about like 15, 20 seconds. We're gonna let that sit. When I saw people doing this, I thought it was pretty amazing. So let's see if it works for me. Remember, you just want it to sit under the lashes. You don't want it to actually hit the waterline. Um, it's definitely different. <laughs> a little bit of a fail there for the first time. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna actually try it with my fingers first. Actually, this method works easier for me with your fingers versus like tweezers, which is normally what I would, put, I would use tweezers for the top lid, for the top part. Oh my God, you guys, if this works, this is pretty freaking life-changing because I'm not even kidding you. 
already it looks so much nat more natural i just wanted you guys to really see the process but omg wait there's two things that i need to talk about right now one is that it feels like I'm not wearing lashes, which is amazing because normally when I put them on top, I get so super irritated in the front, like right here, and then my eyes get red. I mean, I'm just blown away. Two, look at when I like look down. There's no lash strip line. Like I hate when that happens. Wow. This is pretty freaking mind blowing. I just want to make this a little bit more cohesive. Again, as I said, it literally does not feel like I have anything on. Um, also, I did not start with any mascara on my lids, which I on my lashes, which I probably should have. I will try that on my next one, just because I feel like it, it will give you a little bit of a base. But this did pretty well. I could see it sticking on even nicer if I do it that way. Wow! Wow! Look at that. Then let's stop getting all excited about it. I'm gonna put on a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna go in with my Wonder Beauty. Mile High Club, you can use anything, really. I just wanna like make everything nice and cohesive again. Now, to really bring home the look, I'm just gonna tight line just a little bit, which means I'm going to take my pencil, my black pencil, and sometimes I like to just drag it in a little bit on the inside there because I don't like to have my lash come all the way in. I just feel like that really irritates my eyes i like that a lot okay i'm gonna finish up the other eye now for this one i'm gonna start with a little bit of mascara just a very simple coat of mascara the glue again on the top of the lash remember we want it on the top of the lash again i'm gonna let it sit for a second get a little tacky about 15 20 seconds i'm also gonna apply it with my fingers versus um tweezers because that just worked really well for me last time so let's just do that and while it's doing that i'm just going to roll it to make sure it's nice and fitted for my eye for my eye okay and i'm going to go in It's, it's the problem I'm having is just at the fronts a little bit, but for that, I'm going to go take the tweezer. And honestly, I think it's just like anything, it's just gonna take a little practice. But, wow. Little trial and error. You guys, this is pretty life-changing for me. Cause I can't feel the freaking lash. Like the lash always bothers me. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Let that dry just for a little bit because you don't want the lash to actually come off when you curl it. I'm just going to go and tight line a little bit. But you guys see that, that second one, this one came out so much easier. Like I was able to apply it so much faster, right? Okay. And I'm just going to curl now just a little bit. I don't want to curl too much and too hard because I don't want the lash to come off. And then if you need, because I did apply mascara this in the beginning, I'm just going to take a little bit just to make sure it's nice and even. All right guys, it's been about five or six hours. This little lash hack has been amazing. Like normally at this point, I would be like, take these strips off my eyes. I can definitely feel that something's on there, but it's not cumbersome at all. This is a hack of all hacks. I don't know why I'm so late to the game, but if you are like me and this is your first time knowing about it, you're welcome. <laughs> Just kidding. But if you guys have any questions for me or want to see more hacks like this, please do let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Bye.